so much love for you. Like last October, I think I believe it's the same place, and it was my first time to see you, and the feeling was so intense, and I just feel, oh my gosh.、Uh, The words. But what happens、yeah. is, as you play with us for a little while, like we have today, your resistance dissipates, and you come into clear alignment with who you、yes. are. And so, what you're feeling, that feeling that you're feeling, is your connection to the whole of who you are.、Yes. In other words, this is the whole of you present in a moment in time, and this is the way it's supposed to feel all the time. In other words. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ah,、uh, um, so good. And I manifested so many. I don't even want, want to mention it because it's so. Oh my gosh, everything is possible. And now I have、um, resistant about something. Like when you really, really want something, when you really, really want something that so intense. But at that moment, you. Your own belief system. We have a question for you, and you're about to say it, but let's say it in this way: When you really, really want something, can you feel how there is a contradictory belief in the middle of that? I want it so much; it's uncomfortable kind of feeling. So you cannot back off of the desire. The desire is not only not going to get smaller; it is getting bigger. But this is an indication when you feel that way about it that you're giving too much attention to it. You're too intense about it. You're working against yourself. You're shooting yourself in your own foot. It's good under those conditions to try to achieve some distraction from it. Now we might say. Try to go general on it, but when it feels that intense,、yeah. even going general on it isn't possible. So it's sort of like change the subject. Change the subject and change the subject. It also urgent, almost like using my mind. I can't see the possibility of just change the subject. I just feel like, oh my god, that thing is like going on. If I don't solve it, oh my god, there's so a big problem. So let us ask you a question.、Yeah. I can't change the subject because. I need to get it done, or because I like to think about it. Which is it? I have to get it done. Well, if your answer was because I like to think about it, then we would encourage、oh. you. But if it's, <laughs> I've got to get it done. I've got to get it done. Then you're working against yourself. In other words, every subject is two subjects, wanted and absence of it. And sometimes, without meaning to, the active vibration is about the absence of it rather than about the presence of it. So. Is there anything like it? Remember earlier we were talking about those emotional categories. Is there anything that you could find that is in a similar emotional category, meaning you really, really care about it, that has already been achieved or has already manifested? This parlay to a very high stake, but before similar kind of situation, I do have. But I just feel like now it's like a more intense. I all but you could、yeah. use that success to soothe. In other words, I remember when I felt like that about this, and it all came into being. And so things are always working out for me as a statement to make. But there are two differences. That one first wasn't urgent, and that one I don't have to depend on another person. All right. So let's talk about urgency. So、mm-hmm. urgency means fast-moving energy.、Right. Urgency can also mean that it's about to manifest. Is it urgent or is it anticipation? It's. Urgent because if I feel like if it doesn't happen fast, I have a fear it's going to be something really, like because of the law, whatever something bad is going to happen. But that's not the case. That's not ever the case. So in order to soothe that, could you find yourself out in the garden under the pear tree, feeling urgent about the pear ripening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to miss you. You're going to ripen while I'm away. And the birds will eat you. And so the reason that doesn't feel urgent in the same way is because you don't care about that pear、yeah. like you care about this.、Exactly. But if you could put that as a pear on a tree and realize that it is our promise to you, it is our promise to you. It's going to ripen, and you're going to be right there. It's going to ripen, and you're going to be right there. It's going to ripen, and you're going to be right there. There's no possible way that you're going to miss this. It's going to ripen, and you're going to be right there. I also, it's I... going to ripen, and you're going to be right there. <laughs> you're going to be right there. You're going to be right there. You're going to be right there. Now, can you feel the uncondition in this? Yeah. In other words, this is the self-soothing. It's going to be all right. It's going to ripen, and I'm going to be right there. I'm going to be right there. 
I know too much for it to be otherwise my desire is so precise for it to be otherwise I understand the laws of the universe this is a sure thing there is no danger there is no risk there is no urgency there's just the sweetness of me being in this place of allowing and the ideas flowing to me this is going to be the most satisfying dynamic wonderful unfolding of my entire life experience so far what if someone died like that care about you in this process I have the fear of that like really severe I'll be like oh if I don't get this done what is what if like someone died that I care about and I don't have the time to just go visit them that that was a big fear because for me I can go through anything but for them I just feel like oh my god they want to see me you know stuff like that I just feel like oh my god what if like it takes too long that I can't see them or what if you fell in a hole <laughs> Or what if while you were reaching for the pear, the tree fell on you and broke your head? Or what if while you were getting gasoline in your automobile, your car caught on fire? Or what if? That's true, that's or true. Or what if? Now, all of those things just sound ridiculous. And what you just said yes. to us sounds ridiculous. ridiculous. That's true. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. All is well with you. Yes. Get out. Thank you so much. Emma. We have enjoyed this interaction. Indescribably delicious. When you listen back to this, if you do, Esther can hardly wait to get her ears on this one because the new insights that you have provided are amazing. What it means is, You've come as a body of consciousness and you are perched on the precipice of manifestations. Your vortex is ripe. It always is, but better said you're rendezvousing with that ripeness and the deliciousness of the next unfolding is so evident. Now we see that about you all the time in other words we never feel a moment's discouragement about where you are in relationship to any of the things that you want but when you get to this place where your expectation has been bumped into a new place the satisfaction factor for you is so much more and that's what we are feeling as a result of this conversation here today your satisfaction level is drastically improved your set point has moved now that may or may not be important to you it doesn't need to be important to you we just want to tell you that because what that means is the things that are in your vortex that matter the most are now more accessible to you there is a sort of vortexual unfolding you've put many things in your vortex but you also have some beliefs that are hindering them so you have sort of been muting or buffering your vortex's ability to surprise and delight you you sort of get what we mean your beliefs sort of hold some things back not all things just some things well as a result of a day like today where so many wonderful conversations have happened and you've felt movement in your understanding what that means is that your vortex now can yield more of those things that matter more to you so what that means is life's gonna feel fuller and funner and faster to you fuller funner faster fuller funner faster and the fuller part means more of the things that interest you are going to be occurring to you maybe even in same moments or certainly in same days more of the things will be occurring to you fuller funner you're going to be in that chilled out place of greater ease so that you will rendezvous with them and when you rendezvous with them consciously to be able to watch something unfold and you can't relate to this but try to imagine it it will be like standing at the tree with the beautiful piece of fruit hanging right before you and you're just standing there watching it ripen right before your eyes like it's saying to you now that you're ready I'll be ready too the difference is it's already ready it's you that got ripe <laughs> so that's the funner part fuller funner faster in that things are going to occur to you now 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 we really want to say this is the quotable 
the wait is over the wait is over you've closed the gap between where you are and where you want to be the wait is over and here's the piece that we want you to hear above all other things if you will enjoy the wait the wait will surprise you and delight you in ways that you have not previously allowed and the wait will also become shorter and then you'll be in this place where you can't quite decide whether you want the wait because it feels so good to be longer or shorter <laughs> and you see when you're there you see what's happened when you've taken all of the urgency out of it all of the angst out of it you're enjoying the process of becoming and now you are in such perfect sync with who you really are because that's why you came here you didn't come here to get it done you came here to enjoy the becoming there is great love here for you and as always we remain in your vortex